Terry, is it a problem in Alabama of people picking up phones during the time of the year when the phones are, are, are hitting the ground? Uh, yeah, we do. Uh, we receive uh, numerous phone calls each year from uh, people in the logging industry and people in the agricultural business that, that pick up these phones that they find in the woods uh, during these months when most of our phones in Alabama are born. Are these phones really abandoned? A lot of folks think that they're abandoned when they find them out there in the woods by themselves. Uh, most of these phones are not abandoned. Um, the white-tailed deer does, once they have their phones for the first week, don't normally stay with their phones, and their phones just remain hidden in the bushes during this period, and that's normally when people find them. Uh, what, do the does come back and, and nurse these phones periodically during yeah. the day? The does normally come back every three to four hours and, and stand around until their phones find them in the area that they've left them. And uh, they'll come back and feed them during this period. And normally it's when the doe is gone is when people find these phones. All right, now these phones, uh, just because they're laying there and not moving, that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with them, does it? Well, most of the time there's nothing wrong with them. That's just their defense is to, be, is to hide. Mm. They're not able to run and escape predators, and so they they'll hide in the bushes and, and, uh, and wait for the mother to return. Well, is it a good idea for these people to pick up phones and then, you know, it's a, uh, tempting to take them home and try to make pets out of them. They're so cute when they're little. The experience I've had is that white-tailed deer don't make very good pets. The, uh, some of the problems that people encounter with these phones is that being able to feed them properly. They mm -hmm. can uh, develop diarrhea and other uh, intestinal problems from mm -hmm. improper feedings. And of course, as they get older, a uh, place to keep them is, is a real problem for people. Uh, been able to protect them from dogs and, and other neighborhood uh, children and, and things like that. And as they get older, uh, of course, as they get grown, they really become a problem. And bucks especially can become problems. Uh, the older they get, the more aggressive they are. And, uh, and the tamer they are, they even become more aggressive. What should people do when they find fawns out in the woods? Well, I normally tell people just to leave them where they find them. If they're in immediate danger from some kind of logging uh, practice or agricultural practice, we ask them just to move them maybe to the edge of the field and, uh, and just leave them there that, and their mother will normally return. Unless you're absolutely 100% sure that the doe is dead, mm -hmm. uh, most of these phones are not abandoned. It's best just to leave them in the woods. Mm -hmm. Terry, I sure appreciate you spending some time to tell us about what to do with these abandoned phones that people seem to be finding every year. You're welcome. Maybe we can keep some of them in the woods. That's a good idea.